and Nicola met through actually my cousin. She said, Jay, you uh, you single? I said, yeah. She said, I got somebody that uh, I think you guys would be a perfect fit. And I said, okay. We started out having phone conversations for, uh, what'd you say, about two months. Three months. Okay, three. <laughs> Maybe just just phone just talk, conversations yeah. because she lived in Augusta and I lived in Atlanta. And you know, I thought our phone conversations, I'm like, this is a very unique and interesting lady. I actually enjoyed being on the phone with her, like we were high school kids. So, and we had so many common interests and that's what drew me to her before I even met her. And about three months after that, we met and went out Red, Red Lobster. Lobster. I could pursue this long time. <laughs> and here we are now. Drina was the friend. He's met, she's married to his cousin. Mm -hmm. And we were together at the same high school. And I really wasn't expecting anything out of it. <laughs> and then we did finally get on the telephone. He was so sweet and he was so kind. And what drew me to him was that he is so into his family. About a month. And after she left the Bahamas, she went home to her parents' house in Thompson. I'm anticipating Nikki coming back to her uh, her apartment in Atlanta. So I realized when she didn't come back, I called her sister Kim. I'm like, Kim, I have something very important. I need to get Nikki back up here. I am trying to propose. Well, eventually we were, we got her back up within a week and um, I proposed to her. I had to set up, uh, we did a horse and carriage ride. Halfway through the ride, he stopped. I turned around and dropped on one knee. And I was shocked. Pulled out the <laughs> ring and <laughs> I was my baby said yes. That was it.